Okay, welcome everybody. We're gonna be doing a transmission oil filter and flush, not for the whole system, but good majority of it, on a Nissan Titan. This is a 2006 model Titan here. Um, this will work anywhere from 2004 up to 2015, and also for the Nissan Armada and the Infiniti QX56. So we're gonna go over what I'm gonna be using here real quick. Uh, first off, I've got the new filter filter screen kind of deal i got this at o'reilly's so the that's the skew or the part number right there fk384 and this is from uh power torque i don't recall what i paid for this but um kind of been too expensive so uh i also got valvoline max life atf full synthetic uh this was recommended also ams oil is really good uh, there's a sticker in the uh, in the engine bay not to use anything but Nissan fluids, but that's already been debunked. So, um, you know, just do your due diligence and you should be okay. So uh, here I've got a funnel, and I like to use this one here for transmissions because of this uh, flexible hose because it's got a very small fill port up there. Uh, you are going to make a mess. So I've got a brand new catch pan here because my old catch pan had a hole in it. And I made a big oil mess in my driveway. So there's a video on how to clean oil and stuff off your driveway if you uh, look through my videos. So I've also got a couple shot glasses here. I like to get a sample of the fluid coming out and then compare it to some of the new fluid just to see what it kind of looks like. Um, I got a set of needle nose here. I couldn't find my regular ones. I think they're at my aunt's house, but these are little pistol grip needle nose. So on the side of the transmission pan, there are uh, there's an electrical harness that goes that goes uh, parallel with the, uh, transmission pan. So you're going to have to pop a couple clips out. So those pliers work great for that. Uh, I've got a ratchet here, uh, for, with a 19 millimeter on it. That's for the drain plug. And then for the pan bolts, they're 10 millimeters. I'm going to be using this, uh, little driver here. Uh, you can use hand tools. Uh, if, if you don't have a driver, just use a regular ratchet will work. It'll just take a little bit longer. Um, and torque wrenches. So I've got a inch pound torque wrench. That's for the uh, 10 millimeter bolts for the pan itself. So we're going up to 70 inch pounds on those and then 25 foot pounds for the drain plug. So uh, I prefer to torque those because you know, prevent leaks. Um, got some rags, some blue gloves, and a thing of shop towels here. And also got a couple cans of uh, brake cleaner. Brake clean, however you want to say it. Um, I like to spray the pan off before I remove it, uh, just to prevent dirt that's built up on there from actually getting in to the uh, bottom of the transmission pan when you remove it, because stuff can get in there. It's nasty. And uh, I also got a beer, because uh, I'm enjoying myself today. So uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. Oh, I've also got, the, I put this paper down. Uh, because um, the transmission pan is rather long and it may go fore or aft of that uh, drain pan. So if anything gets on the deck, it'll just get on this paper and then you can, uh, you know, take that in, recycle it. I don't have a spotted owl to uh, wipe up any oil, so I'm trying to pre prevent uh, any spills on my garage. So, so we'll go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here we are underneath. First thing I want to do before this gets all messy and nasty is remove these two uh, clips here for this wiring harness. So you just kind of use your, your pliers, pinch that connector on the back, and it should pop right through. All right, now that's out of your way, and then you can go ahead and start loosening your drain plug. Remove our drain plug. That's the 19 millimeter. And I have a uh, shot glass here standing by to get a little sample of it just to see what this fluid looks like. Ooh, yeah, pretty dark. So yeah, we definitely needed a flush here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get a sample of that. Yeah. I might have to flush a little more of this than I wanted to. So we'll let this drain out 
and then we'll take all our, well, I'm gonna reinstall the bolt, torque it, and then we'll go ahead and take our 10 millimeter bolts off after the strip. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall our plug and torque it so we don't have to do it later. Doesn't really matter, but it's just how I like to do it. So I'm just gonna put this in by hand. Give that a quick wipe. Even though it probably don't matter, it's gonna. This is all gonna get nasty here in a minute when I remove all those other bolts. So we'll snug this down, and then put a torque wrench on here, which of course I don't have set up. Okay, so we're gonna torque this to 25 foot pounds. and remove these bolts all right we're going to remove all these bolts and we'll repeat all the way around i'll four point it and i'll come back to you in just a second okay if you see i've got the uh transmission pan four pointed i got one bolt in each corner and we'll go ahead and remove those and then drop this down slowly because there's still a lot of fluid in here. And uh, hopefully we don't make too much of a mess. Last bolt coming off now. You wanna support this whole pan with your hand until you bring it down and slowly for it and that actually came out pretty good so I'm gonna migrate your drip pan to catch the majority of this and then we'll inspect the bottom of this pan here and uh, look at our magnets and see if we got any crazy debris going on okay so here's the bottom of the drain pan there's two magnets here that'll pick up any debris so there's a little bit of stuff on here but nothing indicating that we've got gears or anything wearing out. The transmission's been shifting well. So some some magnets are on the drain plug, so when you actually pull a drain plug out, you can see it. But uh, we'll go ahead and clean this up, and we're gonna replace this gasket. The, the uh, new gasket comes with the filter when you buy it, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this off, scrape this all off and replace it, and then we'll get to the filter. Okay, so we took our drain pan, scrubbed that edge. I used a, a blade to get that, that seal off there and then just scrubbed it with a little bit of a sandpaper. I used a block and uh, just wet sanded it with some brake clean just to get that smooth. Uh, also, I wanna make sure that you bag up all your bolts somehow so you don't mix up your bolts between your pan and your filter. So the filter, that's a whole other animal when it comes to bolts because some of these are different lengths and you have nut here. So there's different hardware holding this on at different points. So uh, my recommendation is use the other filter as uh, when you take them off and I'll show you how to do that. So when we remove these bolts, I'm gonna take them out one for one and I've got the other filter positioned here, just like it is, it's upside down obviously, but whatever hole it comes out of, that's the hole I'm gonna put it in here so you make sure you put the right hardware back up here. Okay, last two bolts coming out. That's the reason you gotta keep track of your hardware because some of these are long, some are short. Here's the last one. Yeah, okay, here we go. We might get 
get some. And here's how I've been keeping track of the bolts when I remove them. Just putting them back into the filter. So the majority of these are long. Then you have a couple nuts. And then you have a few short ones here. So if you put the long ones in the, sh in the short holes, you can damage the uh, helicoils up here. And then that would have to be all re-drilled. And that would be very, very bad. So let's take a look at our filter here. Filter screen. Get rid of the light. So there's some debris here and there, but nothing I want to worry about too much. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is transfer all these bolts to this one so I can put this one on. Okay, so I've put all the bolts in just started them. You don't want to tighten anything until you get them all started because this whole filter screen can shift and then you won't be able to get that last bolt in or last couple bolts in. So these are torqued to uh, 70 inch pounds. So we're just going to run these down until they're uh, pretty much hand tight here. Not lose too much sleep. Now that our filter is back installed, we're going to go ahead and put our drain pan back on. So I've taken the new gasket and mocked it up on here and I've just put a, a bolt at each corner and one in the middle on each side, as close to the middle as you can get it, just to hold this gasket straight and then we'll put it up on there by hand, just barely putting these in and then you should be able to get your other bolts in. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Okay, so we're putting these bolts on just fairly loose just to get it lined up and then you can put your other remaining bolts in. And remember you have these two wiring harnesses here. So there's, there's clips that go on those bolts for this wiring harness. So this wiring harness will go in just like that so this bracket will go on those individual bolts shit okay so i've got all these bolts installed we're going to go around with a very low torque just to make sure they're snug but we're going to cross them corner to corner and then cross Torque them all the way. And then just keep moving. Same pattern. So it doesn't, so your gasket goes on evenly. Oh no. These are only 70 inch pounds, so you don't want to over tighten them. Okay. All right, all our, all our bolts are in, snug down by hand. So we're going to torque these to 70 inch pounds with a cross torque. And that will seat that gasket flush and evenly. Hopefully we don't have any leaks. Right, so there's one. And we'll just repeat this all the way around. And then when I get done with the cross torque, I'll go around to each bolt to make sure it held the torque. Here. And 
and down here. So these four points will be torqued and then we'll just keep going around. Okay, and we'll continue that all the way around. Okay, so we've torqued all our bolts in a star pattern all the way across. And now we're gonna do a final torque of all of them just in a sequential order to make sure none of the torques moved if the pan has shifted or anything like that. You always wanna do a final torque just to check your bolts, make sure they don't move. If they do, cross torque everything again. So we'll just do this top row here and you'll get the idea. Just make sure they still hold their torque. And it looks like we're good. And then we'll just keep going and I'll cut the video whenever I get to it. Okay. Now you can go ahead and reinstall your uh, wire connectors. Uh, the clips so these brackets it's pretty self-explanatory where the brackets are going to go if you leave the clips on the wire when you put the bolts back in so just give them a push and there you go and now we'll clean the rest of this pan to make sure there's no confusion of a leak you want to make sure you start with a clean surface so we'll go ahead and clean that and uh, we'll service it up okay so I've cleaned the pan now we're gonna service it, um, just real quick. Remember these 10 millimeter bolts are told, 10 millimeter bolts are torqued to 70 inch pounds and the drain plug is torqued to 25 foot pounds. So there's a big difference between foot pounds and inch pounds. So don't confuse that because you'll strip these out very, very quickly and then you'll be up, up shit river, so. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and service now. So we've taken out five quarts of fluid according to the indicator on this drip pan. We're gonna go ahead and service that up here real quick and uh, start the truck and run through all the gears. Okay, so your transmission fill point is the same as your dipstick. And this is actually locked in with a 10 millimeter bolt right here. So we'll go ahead and remove that and then Top it off with some transmission fluid. service our transmission I've already put in four quarts so we're gonna put in a remaining one quart in here and then start the truck up and hopefully everything works out I've got this flexible funnel that I showed in the, in the beginning this is a uh, great for this this particular job because this uh, flex hose actually fits right into that port my funnel has a small crack in it here so uh, I'm kind of holding it together um, to prevent leaks but a little bit is leaking out, so I'll have to wash the motor when we're finished. We're gonna put our last cord in here and try it out. See you drain in. There she goes.
Okay, we're gonna start the truck, cycle the gear shift through from park down to drive, back up through neutral reverse a few times just to make sure that fluid is going where it's supposed to go, take it for a drive around the block, and then get in, crawl underneath it and check for leaks. Look at that, just hit 135,000 miles. All right, so we're gonna go reverse. And there's some behind us, so let's turn that sensor off. Reverse, smooth, neutral, drive, smooth. Back up to neutral, back up to drive, a reverse, park. Everything feels smooth. Okay, so now we're gonna pull it out. Take it for a drive, and then we'll crawl underneath and check for leaks, make sure that gasket's holding. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take it for a ride around the neighborhood, make sure the transmission shifts smoothly while we're driving. Forgive my crappy headlights. landscape uh, but my view sucks that way so bear with me all right feels like it's smooth so we're gonna go turn around pull it back inside and check underneath for leaks call it a day yeah. feels pretty smooth and I'll take her out on a, the highway here shortly. But for now, she feels pretty smooth. So now it's cleanup time. Look at that Jeep. She's next. Okay, so here's the aftermath of that. So you always want to make sure you recycle your fluid. I just used the jug that it came in and if like right now I've got five quarts in there. So this is still three quarts of good fluid. So I'm going to keep that and find another container to take that extra quart. I think I have some old distilled water containers I can use. Take it over to an auto parts store, recycle it. Uh, don't dump it down the drain. And look, I didn't even finish my beer. But uh, yeah, this paper, uh, godsend, okay? So, and if you do get a little oil on your on your deck, uh, Dawn dish soap and Clorox toilet bowl cleaner. The gel works great. I got a video on that. If you look in my channel, look on there and, uh, and you'll take care of it. So I did crawl underneath the truck, verified there's no leaks yet. So, uh, my driveway is fairly clean since I used my method of, uh, getting out oil stains. So just monitor your stuff the next couple days and, uh, make sure that gasket's not leaking and you should be good to go. Well, I almost forgot to take a look at the before and after. So this is the fluid that we pulled out and it's pretty, pretty rank. And this is the comparison to the new fluid here. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and flush this thing here in a couple weeks just to get more fresh fluid in it. But uh, for right now, she's shifting smooth. So we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. Okay, so uh, I'm on the way to O'Reilly's right now to take this um, five quarts of fluid back so that they can recycle it and just give the truck a good drive and take it on the highway. Um, make sure we hit all the gears, passing gear, all that stuff. Um, and, uh, but yeah, she's shifting beautiful. Uh, because that fluid did look really shitty, I am going to... Uh, take the drain plug off here probably in about a, maybe a week or two and just drain out another four or five quarts resurface it but keep that filter um uh you know i don't want to go through the whole uh gasket and all that stuff again i don't think i really need to uh but you know i think it'll work out just fine but yeah the truck drives great didn't really have any problems just wanted to 
take a look at it. I haven't looked at it since I've had this truck. So, um, you know, keep it running good, right? So, hey, uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you've made it this far, cool. Uh, most likely you haven't, but, uh, you know, I appreciate it. And uh, if you have any other questions or anything that you might want to know about Titans or any other car, because I work on all kinds of stuff all the time, um, you know, shoot me a message or a comment or however all that crap goes. Uh, I'm relatively new to the YouTube thing, but um, if there's something you want to know or you want to see a video on, I and if I have the ability, I'll go ahead and do it. Everything I'm kind of doing right now, I'm making a video about it. So, um, you know, let me know. Appreciate you guys. Oh, uh, what do I got to do? Like, subscribe, all that bullshit. I don't know. I got like 20 subscribers, so most of them are my Clash Clan buddies. Uh, Ghost Slapheads, uh, Jordan, Sparky, Bob, and all those guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching because, you know, half of my views are probably you guys, to be real. So, um, appreciate you. Rock and roll.